The procurement of the Thales Groundmaster 200 multi-mission compact radar system by Sweden from Thales Nederland, a subsidiary of the French Thales Group, represents a significant step in modernizing Sweden's defense capabilities and reinforcing its role within NATO. Signed on April 3, 2025, by the Swedish Defense Material Administration and valued at approximately 1 billion Swedish kroner, or 91 million euros, this contract underscores a strategic alignment between Sweden, France, and broader NATO objectives. As Sweden becomes the fifth NATO nation to adopt this advanced radar, following the Netherlands, Denmark, Norway, and Lithuania, the deal not only enhances Sweden's air and surface surveillance, but also highlights the growing prominence of Thales' radar technology in Northern Europe. Sweden's acquisition of the GM200 MMC falls under its Sensor System NI program, aimed at replacing aging systems like the PS871 radar with cutting-edge technology to meet contemporary security demands. The contract, finalized with Thales Nederland, builds on a pre-existing letter of intent between Sweden and the Netherlands, fostering cooperation in technical harmonization, maintenance, and industrial collaboration. Priced at roughly 14.5 million euros per unit, based on Denmark's 2022 procurement of five units for 540 million DKK, the deal reflects Sweden's urgency to deploy a medium-range radar with short lead times, with first deliveries scheduled for 2026. The GM200 MMC introduced in 2024 and developed with input from the Royal Netherlands Army, leverages 4D active electronically scanned array technology, offering dual access multi-beam capabilities, S-band operation, and a range exceeding 400 kilometers. Its compact mobile design and rapid deployment under five minutes make it a versatile asset for Sweden's evolving defense needs. The context of this procurement is deeply tied to Sweden's shifting geopolitical landscape. Joining NATO in March 2024, amid Russia's ongoing aggression in Ukraine, Sweden faces heightened security concerns in the Baltic Sea region, a strategic hotspot. The GM200 MMC acquisition aligns with NATO's emphasis on interoperability and collective defense, enhancing Sweden's ability to contribute to the alliance's recognized air picture. FMV's focus on supply security and high production capacity reflects lessons learned from global supply chain disruptions, ensuring the Swedish armed forces can swiftly integrate this capability. For Thales, a French-led multinational, the deal reinforces its dominance in the European defense market, with the GM200 MMC gaining traction among NATO members and beyond, as evidenced by Brazil's 2024 order of the GM200 MMA variant. Procurement of the GM200 MMC was driven by FMV's need for a radar system that balances advanced technology with rapid availability. Negotiated under a government-to-government -government framework with the Netherlands, the contract emphasizes short lead times to deliver operational capability by 2026, with ongoing deliveries to follow. While the exact number of units remains undisclosed, the deal's value suggests a modest initial batch, consistent with Sweden's phased modernization approach. The radar's production by Thales Nederland, supported by an industrial ramp-up, mitigates delivery risks, a priority for FMV given the urgency of bolstering air and maritime situational awareness. This procurement also deepens Sweden's defense ties with the Netherlands, a key NATO partner setting the stage for future collaborations in maintenance and upgrades. The GM200 MMC's role and purpose are multifaceted, addressing both air defense and counter-battery missions. With its 400-kilometer range, 80-degree elevation coverage, and a 100,000-foot ceiling, it excels in detecting air-breathing targets, cruise missiles, drones, and rockets, artillery, and mortars. Its automatic tracking and classification capabilities, paired with point of origin and impact determination, make it ideal for very short-range air defense to medium-range air defense operations. The radar's mobility, 
deployable in under two minutes and transportable by road, rail, or tactical aircraft, enhances Sweden's ability to reinforce coverage in prioritized areas, as noted by FMV project manager Per Schillström. Its interoperability with NATO secret networks and resilience against electronic warfare, thanks to gallium nitride transmitters and electronic counter-countermeasures, ensure it meets alliance standards while providing 24-7 availability. Implementation of the GM200 MMC will involve integrating it into Sweden's defense infrastructure under the Sensor System NY initiative. Its platform-independent design and standard interfaces facilitate compatibility with existing systems, while its software-defined architecture allows future upgrades without major overhauls. Though specific details on training or deployment sites are limited, the radar's dual fixed and mobile configurations suggest flexibility in operational use, potentially mounted on vehicles like the Mercedes-Benz Zetro 6.6 as seen in Lithuania. The Sweden-Netherlands letter of intent will likely guide maintenance and development, ensuring long-term sustainability. Rapid redeployment and sense and scoot functionality will enable tactical adaptability critical in Sweden's geographically diverse terrain and proximity to potential threats. The implications of this deal are significant for Sweden, France, and the region. For Sweden, the GM200 MMC strengthens air and maritime surveillance, replacing outdated systems and enhancing NATO interoperability. As a new alliance member, Sweden bolsters its strategic position in the Baltic, contributing to deterrence against Russia. For France, via Thales, the deal reinforces economic and geopolitical influence in Europe, with the GM200 MMC's success driving revenue and prestige. Thales Netherlands production underscores Franco-Dutch collaboration, potentially paving the way for further exports, as seen with the UK's interest in the Serpents project. Regionally, the radar enhances NATO's Baltic surveillance network, fostering cohesion among Nordic and Baltic states, but possibly escalating tensions with Russia, which may view this as a provocative expansion of NATO capabilities. Comparing the GM200 MMC to competitors like Saab's Giraffe 4A or Lockheed Martin's ANTPQ-53 reveals its competitive edge. The Giraffe 4A, also ESSA-based and Swedish-made, offers a 280-kilometer range and multi-role capabilities, but lacks the GM200's 400-kilometer reach and rapid deployment speed. Saab's system, while integrated into Sweden's existing infrastructure, may have been overlooked due to Thales' shorter lead times and NATO-wide adoption. The ANTPQ-53, a U.S. counter-battery radar, excels in ram detection with a 340-kilometer range, but is less versatile for air surveillance, a key Swedish priority. The GM200 MMC combination of range, mobility, and NATO interoperability gives it an advantage in Sweden's context, though its 14.5 million euros unit cost exceeds the Giraffe 4A's estimated 10 to 12 million euros, reflecting a trade-off for enhanced capability. Overall, the Thales GM200 deal is a strategic triumph for Sweden, fortifying its defense posture and NATO role while advancing Thales' market leadership. Its superior range, rapid deployment, and alliance compatibility outshine regional competitors, justifying Sweden's investment despite higher costs. For France and the region, it signals a deepening of defense ties and a collective push for security, though careful management of escalation risks with Russia will be essential. As deliveries commence in 2026, the GM200 MMC will cement Sweden's place in NATO's northern flank, balancing deterrence with stability in an increasingly contested geopolitical arena.